welcome to the Startup Superhero Series. I'm Heidi Hubling of the Stubbs Alderton and Margulies Pre-Accelerator Program. Today we're featuring Jonathan Tabs. Thanks for being here, Jonathan. Thanks for having me. Jonathan's with Kaleidico and he specializes in brand positioning. So I guess we'll get started. Uh, Jonathan, what do you see being the most important benefit uh, to the Pre-Accelerator companies of mentorship? I, I guess the one that sticks out the most is just connections, right? It, it gives you resources that you might not otherwise have. Uh, but what I've seen are the companies that really succeed are the ones that take advantage of, it's almost like a secret thing. The fact that there's so many mentors here, there's so many people that you can call upon, uh, that in itself is something that people aren't used to. A, having the people to talk to, and B, knowing what to ask of them. So it's interesting because uh, in success, you'll have a lot of people wanting to come and be an advisor, can I join your board, can I do all that type of stuff. And so this, in a secure environment, you can work with different advisors on different things, even advisors that do similar things to each other, to really get a sense of how you are going to work best with your advisors. With your uh, personal background and professional background, what perspectives do you bring as a mentor? Uh, I, I think it really is tied to what Kaleidico is all about, which is really brand holistically. So it's how you position, but it's not just about the marketing. It's about how do you set up your company to be able to deal with change that's constant. Uh, to be able to, you know, with our with Kaleidico, we usually work with later stage companies, uh, and so it's more a matter of going in and seeing what fundamental bricks were not placed as they were trying to rush to deliver to clients' needs. And so we go in and we, with that fresh look, we we really fill in those bricks. What I deal with with the participating companies is to help them at least be mindful of those fundamental pieces that you need to set up for your company uh, so that you can be successful moving forward into the future. Okay. So if you could give one piece of advice to the pre-accelerator companies based on your breadth of experience, what would that be? I think it would be to have your eyes wide open all the time. So as a founder, you're really you know, head down, running that sprint, trying to get to where you're trying to go you got to keep your eyes open to what's happening culturally, what's happening technologically. Uh, mentors or advisors or board members or employees will come up with different ideas. So it's a matter of really capturing that, but also something that I find interesting. There's a lot of companies out there that set off to do a certain thing, and as they were developing that certain thing, they sort of found this pot of gold that they were just creating to help them deliver what they thought was a value, but the real value was over here. And so it, not that you want to be going right, right, left, all over the place. What you want to be doing is being able to keep your eyes open. What is that IP? What is that certain thing that might be different direction, but that might be your real winner? Fantastic. And one last question. Um, what is your favorite thing about being a mentor of the pre-accelerator personally? What does it give to you? I, I got involved because I really wanted to find a way to give back. And uh, being that I am also a university professor, and I just have always been of the elk of like how can I help other people this was a great opportunity to be able to do so and just um, you know meet a lot of really great people both uh, both on the company side and the mentor side uh, there's some really strong participants all over the place and uh, so that's that's why I was really excited to to be a part of it very much appreciate you thanks and uh, we'll wrap that up uh, see you next time at the startup superhero series <laughs>